on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe hanging out with the lovely cat. And boy, have we got a vlog for you today. Today, we are going to take you to the childhood home of Rupert Bonham. So let's go to his childhood home and we'll learn more about him. We'll see you there. Now, this home is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,334 square feet. Uh, it was built in 1978. It, for, it contains four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. And uh, it is estimated at about $174,200, uh, which uh, is not bad. They have central air, uh, attached garage, uh, heating, and other things like that as well. Um, but I guess it's most known for being the childhood home of Rupert. Uh, now, Rupert grew up uh, here in Kokomo, Indiana, and uh, this was his childhood home. Um, this is the home that he grew up in uh, as a child. Now, Rupert is one of the only four contestants to compete on Survivor multiple times. Uh, he is the only contestant uh, to win a $1 million uh prize via public vote uh, an event an event that definitely caused and sparked much controversy um, now the closest that Rupert has ever gotten to the final uh, tribal council uh, is when he reached the top five on all stars um, but we're not really here to talk about uh, necessarily the survivor or or what he has done um, because he has done so much. Uh, he did, like I said, he did win that million dollars in that fan favorite award. Um, Rupert went up against fellow castaways and he ended up winning the million dollar prize with 85% of the vote. Uh, now, like I said, Rupert was born in Detroit, but he moved here with his parents at a young age to Indiana. Uh, he actually attended Hayworth High School, which is not too far from us. I'll take you there after we're done here. Um which has now been rechristened uh, Kokomo High School. Um, he then moved to Texas to study nursing at Cisco Junior College uh, and San Angelo University. Uh, Rupert did and does currently reside here in the state of Indiana in Indianapolis where he works as a vocational and clinical mentor for troubled teens. Uh, he has set up his own organization called Rupert's Kids. He previously worked as a grave digger and a bartender as well. His hobbies have included scuba diving, camping, and coin collecting. His favorite sport is racquetball. Uh, shortly after his survivor appearance, Rupert br briefly appeared at charity events sponsored by the Indiana Ice and Hardee's. Now, in 2004, he appeared as a stable hand named Paul in the Big My Little Pony episode, the third season premiere of the TV series Half and Half. Uh, in 2006, he appeared in the independent movie Open Micers. He has also made a cameo appearance as a homeless man in the Rapford Reshuffle, the sixth season premiere of the show Yes, Dear. Uh, Rupert has also made appearances as an extra in 
a bar fight scene uh, in A Million Ways to Die in the West, uh, and so much more. But Rupert and his wife, Laura, uh, competed on the 31st season of The Amazing Race. Now, of the over 600 contestants that have competed on Survivor, Rupert is the sixth most often occurring contestant in the show's history. He appeared in four separate seasons and for a total of 104 days, but he never made it to the final three. Now, prior to his time on Survivor, Rupert worked as a mentor for at-risk kids. Uh, we have already dis uh, discussed this. He created Rupert's Kids. Um, which is geared towards helping youth and young adults become active members of society. Uh, the organization provides mentorship, vocational training, and educational programs, uh, teaching how you can take care of yourself, not how you can just get help, um, how, but how to help yourself, uh, said Rupert. Um, he, uh, he, he mentioned that in an interview that I, uh, that I was uh, reviewing for this uh, for this vlog and uh, that just, just kind of stuck out in my mind uh, it's it's he's doing this not not just to help them but so they can eventually help themselves um, now Shelbyville may seem like an unlikely home for Rupert's kids but its founder says the community was well was welcoming and needs help as much as any big city Rupert also said that it might only have 20,000 people but it's a good cross-section of America it's what's going on across America. The opiate addiction, the drug addiction, the alcohol addiction are running rampant in small towns, said Rupert. And he is completely right. Um, from being in a small town for a while, um, I definitely can say that that does definitely seem to be the case. He also said the young men and women that we work with are not hardened criminals. They're young men and women who have made bad choices just like so many of us in our world. He describes himself as strong, smart, and brave. He is most proud of becoming independent and self-employed and being able to care for his family while not having to live the 9-to-5 world. He believes his competitive advantages on Survivor and his abilities uh, to be a team player uh, has helped him in all of this. Rupert has one daughter, Rhea, and he also ran for... Uh, Indiana governor uh, as a libertarian against Mike Pence uh, receiving 4% of the vote. Let's go over to the school and I'll show you that now. Well now here we are at the high school of uh, Rupert Bonham uh, on a kind of a different note but um coincidental fact that my mother also uh, went to this school and graduated from Hayworth as well before they changed to Kokomo High School uh, and I went to uh, the Career Center which was a, a class that you could go to half a day to learn uh, different things which is where I learned about television and video production uh, which has definitely helped me in my YouTube channel as well uh, so uh, I learned that right here and I went there for two years uh, my uh, junior and senior year so it was always nice to be able to see these things as you can see there's the Kokomo Wildcats I believe this is where the band is, uh, goes in and uh, has a lot of uh, practicing and, and things like that but yeah this is uh, now Kokomo High School it was once called Hayworth High School um, but it, yeah like I said it's, it, it's now uh, Kokomo High School and the Kokomo Area Career Center so I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up taking you around here, and we'll see you when we're done. Now, this is the area of the Career Center that I was mentioning earlier. These are the doors that I would come out of. And then there is a double set of doors and a big set of doors up here up front that we would go into 
when we would go to our vocational classes. As I said, the Kokomo Area Career Center helped me tremendously. I learned a lot of valuable lessons, not just in life, but in the way things are done in entertainment. And it was a huge success for me. And like I said, it has helped me on my YouTube channel as well. So that is definitely a big thing for me. I would recommend anybody that gets a chance to go to the Career Center to go ahead and go there because, like I said, it definitely helped me out uh, quite a bit. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this vlog. I had a really fun time. I hope you guys did too. It's always nice to see a little bit of uh, history and uh, a little bit of uh, learning about someone, uh, especially when they're from your hometown. You can join us on all of our social media websites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Top Vloggers. Also, if you would like to help us reach the top, you can do so by going to www.patreon.com backslash The Top Vloggers. Without your help and support, these vlogs would be almost impossible to do. And that's going to do it for us here today. Until next time, Top Vloggers.